Welcome to the featured video of Request a Quote for WooCommerce. This extension enables your customers to add products to a quote basket and ask for price estimation. You can choose to hide prices and replace Add to Cart with Quote button. Add multiple custom fields to your quote form and collect additional information for quotation. Accept or reject quotes, add custom prices, and convert the quote into an order. Let's go to the extension backend and see how this extension works. Go to Quote Rules and click on Add New Rule. Provide a unique rule title for future reference. Select User Roles to enable a rule for specific customers only. You can apply this quote rule to all products or specific products, categories, and out-of-stock items. Hide price if needed and replace with custom text. Under the Hide Add Cart button dropdown, you can choose from four options. Replace Add to Cart with Quote button. Keep Add to Cart, but add a new Quote button. Replace Add to Cart with Custom button. Keep Add to Cart and add a new Custom button. In case of Custom button, you can customize button text and link to button link. You can add multiple quote rules to configure different quote options for different products and user roles. Let's enable this rule for B2B customers and apply it to clothing categories only. Keep the prices visible and replace Add to Cart with a Quote button. Publish to see how it appears on the front end. You can see for B2B customers, the clothing category does not have an Add to Cart button since it's been replaced with a Quote button. Before we see how the quote submission process works, let's go to Quote Fields to add custom fields for quote submission form. Click on Add New to create a new quote field. Add Field Title. Select from available field types. Add field label to show on front end. Select if you want to populate this field data to default WooCommerce customer field as well. Let's add a text field to ask the customer's name and select customer's first name as default name. You can add multiple fields to collect additional information necessary to process quotes. Let's go to the front end and see how the quote system works. Add product quote. And just like standard WooCommerce, the extension adds products to a quote basket. Click to view quote basket. You can see the offered price column here to let customers offer a price. Depending on your business needs, this column can be disabled from extension settings. Just below the product list, you can see the quote fields that we have created. The customers can fill out this form and click on the Submit button to send this quote request to the store admin. The extension automatically sends email notifications and lists these quotes in the WordPress Admin panel. The store admin can view submitted quotes from all quote selection. Click on any quote to view details. You can see the fields data and products included in the quote, along with the offered price and quantity. The store admin can accept, decline, cancel, convert quotes to order, or select any other relevant status. Before accepting a quote, you can add or remove products, change offered price, and notify the customer by selecting yes before hitting the update button. The submitted quotes are displayed on the customer's My Account page. Once the quote is moved to accepted status, your customers would be able to convert quotes to order from My Account page. Now let's see the other settings this extension offers. Select Quote for Out of Stock option to keep Quote button visible even if the product goes out of stock. Select the menu where the mini quote basket should be displayed. Select User Roles here for which you want to hide quote basket. Select Basket Type from Given Options. Enable Ajax Add to Quote on your product and shop page. This will add products to the quote basket without page refresh, just like Ajax Add to Cart. 
Select this checkbox to redirect customers to the quote submission page after a product is successfully added to the quote basket. Select this checkbox and add URL to redirect customers to this specific page after successful submission of quote request. From Custom Messages section, you can customize quote submission success messages and view quote basket button. You can enable email notification and customize email subject, header, and content for each quote status. Under this setting, you can add Google reCAPTCHA keys. The extension is compatible with multiple page builders. If the quote button isn't appearing on your store, you can try these solutions. Go to the Attribute section. Here you can enable product price, subtotal, and total in quote basket. Select this checkbox if you want to enable the offered price column in the quote basket. Select a percentage amount to pre-fill the offered price with a suggested amount. Select this checkbox to enable tax display in the quote basket. Enable this checkbox to let customers convert quotes to orders if it's in process or accepted stage. Let's go to the button section now. Here you can customize the Place Quote and Update buttons displayed in the quote basket. You can customize their label and text colors. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.